Well, busted out the old anvil, hand smashing this palladium up, all these cats. It started to rain, so I'm on my last one. Show you guys real quick. This one might be in the way. There's one of the cats right there. What's inside? That's a big one. But I'm gonna crush it up real quick. This one, first time I spilled it. I think I'm on number 10 or 9. gas, especially the chlorine gas with the platinum, it can cause severe damage to your eyes, your lungs, your skin. It's the most corrosive acid out there, aqua regina. We're about to make some and you got to make sure you have a mask that will at least have uh, chlorine filters added in them. I'll help protect from the, the gas. Not so much the smell, but the chlorine. From burning your lungs. So we're going to do a chlorine reaction, chlorine gas reaction, with the aqua regina. The aqua regina, even though it's highly corrosive, it just won't get those precious metals down the way you want, won't break them down. So we have to add a corrosive, uh, add an oxidizer to corrode the, uh, the platinum and the precious metals. Sorry. But when we get started here, I'm almost done with this one. that settle everything and then I might add some nitric acid about one liter slowly so it'll explode on you you add 
about a maybe a milliliter at a time you'll see the reaction that it causes so i'm gonna go get that ready and i'll be back here we go now that i have put about two liters at least maybe one and a half liters of water to one gallon of hydrochloric acid and you see it's starting to turn green bubbling it's starting to react it's starting to eat down those base metals which i want that to drop out and we're just going to eat up the precious metals and in order to do that there's several ways but today we're going to do a calcium hypochlorite and we're going to use that to oxidize the precious metals the palladium and the platinum that's inside this aqua regina that we just made so i'm gonna go ahead and put my mask back on you see we're getting a little bit of gases in return and these are harmful six feet or away you know it's just a little, little bit but uh we're gonna add this in there and then we'll put that back on there so the chlorine gas that we create uh stays in there and becomes a liquid and then it'll get down in there and help oxidize all that calic burger so we can uh, get the highest possible ROI on this uh, palladium platinum and maybe even some rhodium in some of these so in uh, retail if I were to sell what I just put in here, I think I would have had about, there's eight Cadillac converters, Cadillac, <laughs> there's eight of them, so one was about $1,000 retail, 500 In the middle of filming that last spot, father called, but here we go, we're about to add that hypochlorite and calcium hypochlorite so we can oxidize these precious metals and we add a little bit at a time because we do not want to blow this so we get this on film hold my phone I think that's good enough hopefully I don't fall It's a little bit out of time. Lost that off. You see it's starting to turn orange, it's starting to dissolve that platinum. That chlorine gas is getting in there. So 
Alright, just enough. So my solution stops dissolving it so quick. So you see that gas. That was gas being trapped. That was kind of cool. See, there's no, there's no gas in the air right now, so keep that a little at a time. And then once I start seeing it build up, in here more, instead of dissolving, I know. It's dissolving it pretty good right now. Got enough of that in there for now. Let that soak in our solution. Close it up. See all that chlorine gas in there. You see how green it is, orange. Once that drops, drops into the solution, probably about another hour. Every hour I add another, let's say, uh, yeah, four or five grams of the uh, calcium hypochlorite as it's starting to dissolve our precious metals. I do have the top sealed. And had a mask on with some chlorine filters. You smell the chlorine, but uh, it filters out the harmful gases that are in there but and you don't want to be downwind of it they're right several feet away and uh, as the gases come out the only thing really the hot atmosphere does is you'll probably find it's uh, you know whatever piece of rock or concrete and that's closest and absorb into there <laughs> the little bit that does get created here and doesn't get absorbed into the solution so we got our substrate it's starting to turn orange doing good Be back in about another hour. I'll add a little bit more in there. Oops, sorry. And then we'll see. Just to uh, go back on that explosion sound earlier, I had the funnel inside. So as I was dropping the, the uh, hypochlorite in there, it was creating a pressurized system right here that wasn't escaping because it wasn't going being able to settle up and go back through here to the tip of the funnel 
So this sat on the ring up top and the gas built up right around the ring. And then this thing shot up and out. The funnel shot up and out. That was pretty cool. But I didn't leave a breather in there. I just mixed this up really good, shook her up. And oh, look how nice that solution looks. Oh, it's going good. And I just want to spray off the sides real quick. So I was going to pop this all off. that was stuck on the sides will drop back down into the solution. And I got a new one for this, but we'll see you guys in a minute.